Last time. My master has abandoned me. I am Delric, an aspiring wandering bar. My father left a note for me before leaving. Do you want to join in? The way of the mead will lead you to the old Holden Inn. That is terrible. Go get my flute! Have you ever heard of a whisper song? Well, it's bard time, again. Jean Pantia, I, I beg your pardon. This isn't a good time. Oh, it's you. I get the sense they don't I've pay attention us. to him. Suppose I should introduce myself, hmm? I'm Olvis, Chief Acolyte, which is an elaborate way of saying I don't get paid for my work. If you want to learn to play an instrument, master the art of busking, or understand the power of song, I'm the guy you come see. Most students here are expected to work in exchange for their lessons. However, for you, I feel such things are... unbefitting. No, no, I have something else in mind. Something far more expedient and suited to your skills. Recently, both Dean Inga and Pantia lost their personal instruments, while Professor Germain wished to acquire one new. What I ask is for you to find these items. Speak to each professor and they'll provide you the necessary details. For each instrument you bring them, I will provide a music lesson in return. Lute, drum, or flute. The choice will be yours. The more you recover, the more lessons I'll give. I think that's a fair exchange. Return once you've recovered an instrument, and I shall teach you. Cool. I was about to go do those things anyway. Another installment of Random Bard Mod, because there's a surprising lot. Really a missed opportunity. Going to the Old Herald and Inn, which has a mod to increase it to an Old Herald and Town, which I released. You'll be looking to rent Tiber Septim's room, I take it? Tiber Septim's room? That's right. In the Second Era, Tiber Septim himself led the army that conquered Old Herolden from the Barbarians of the Reach. Septim would later found the Empire that united Tamriel, but his first known battle and victory was right here. And this inn has the very bed the Great General slept in on his first night as Old Herolden's Liberator, as good as it was hundreds of years ago. This is a quest from Shadow Song, by the way. All this is from Bar College Expansion. Oh no! Dirty thief. That poem is even worse than the first one. Alright, I guess we have to go to the Bard's Leap. I hear in the background they're saying I'm a thief for stealing that letter that was laying around. I feel like that's a bug. Tidings, Sarah. My name is Asteria. A traveling bard on her way to Markarth. 3D NPC. If you would like to hear a song, do not hesitate to make a request. I require no coin or patronage for my services. All I ask in return is the following favor. Should my verse please you, then I would be most gracious if you spread word of my song to the citizens of the Reach. Where did you train? Not at the Bard's College, if that's what you're implying. I'm very much a Bard, however, or I wouldn't advertise my services as such. If my skill were lacking, you would discover that soon enough. Even here in Old Holden, there's always someone with a story. A lost loved one. A new job, a family reunion, a long goodbye. And whether it's good, bad, or sad, a story always needs a tune. She might be interesting, but I'm on several missions. I went to Bard's Elite Summit as part of Memorable Dragons. Oh, hey, the horse spawned up here. Oh, God, the horse is falling off. Uh, oh, oh, crap. Well, guess I'm going for a ride. Well, this looks not very bardly. Where are we? I... I don't know. But something tells me there is something wrong here. Let's check the place out. Well, that is a cool enemy. Oh, he's definitely hitting him with his loot. That is an interesting take on a uh, combat bard. Just as soon use a bow. I, I don't think my father is a bard anymore. I don't know what he is, and I don't know if I want to know. I found this on the Bone Colossus. Death is key for more power. Where the moon only half can be, find me under the river. What? What does that even mean? Where the moon only half can be, is it the half moon meal? By the divines, I don't know if I want to find him. 
Come on, we should see this through. All right, we should go. Hmm, the reach is looking really lush right now. I like the roses. Val's back in solitude, by the way. Classic MMO style, I grabbed a bunch of quests and just went off. Using that ring I got from Memorable Dragons to walk on water. Oh, hello there. Oh, he's just gonna attack me on sight. Get ragdolled. So long. Neat little side jaunt. Not as big as like the chain of time, but there's more. Well, sorry it ended this way, and we had to kill your father. Don't be. That man is not the man I knew. He didn't even say anything. He just attacked us. I'm glad this nightmare is coming to an end. Thank you for helping me. What now? I think I need a break from all of this. <sighs> what a tragic story. I could turn it into a song, but I don't know if I really want to. I need to get back to the Bard's College and graduate. Maybe I can still become a wandering Bard. I don't even know if I want to. I'll see you there. Thank you for everything. It's sad that his mods don't get like the big YouTubers doing videos on them. Except Chain of Time. Cause they're legit all pretty interesting. Okay, drum first. Why would you summon that big boy in here? Oh, he's got some sort of become ethereal spell. And a lot of minions. Damn, this is super unfair, especially with the extra spawns. Dang, I had to use these pillars as cover. This is actually a Legitimately hard fight. Okay, got the drum. 
I found this door on the way through. It's an end mod that I have that I forgot I had. There is, of course, an actual end, but the basement leads to Haldir's Cairn. <laughs> Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Getting a bright and early start. And now the loot. I didn't realize it was in this cave. Because it's been forever since I've done this quest. There's several things in this cave. Like a Dormer Ruin that hops down to the top of it. A gelatinous cube. A mimic. I think there's a winch up there, which means there's a bunch of hard dudes. I thought I heard something. Hey, he just swung over my head. Thanks, Precision. Damn, I should have come here. You can't hide from me. Oh, these surprise. guys are pretty tough, actually. Now hurry up and die. That's a pretty rare kill move. Uh, I've got a sliver. It ain't always about being overwhelmingly strong. Sometimes it's trickery that beats numbers. I really can't make this into full Souls-like combat because there's so many enemies. Oh, it's a mimic, I'm so surprised. Anyway. Once again, trickery. Stealth archery for the win. Thanks again, Precision. Also, your boy shooting you in the back. The trick is to shoot where I'm gonna be, not where I am. And we've got a winch here. Help me! Help me! I'm pretty sure I saved her later on too. Hold now test. So I'm gonna go with the same way these places Hold. keep filling up with bandits again. Hold. More and more winches just keep getting kidnapped. Let's see, how can my OP climbing and jumping skills allow me to bypass this entire thing? Well, you're free to go, I guess. I will get rid of your captors and then you can figure out what you want to do with your life. These guys are just fighting a Grogger. I'm just gonna slip in and take this. Man, I love this. This is so immersive. 
appears to be falling through the floor. So I'm just going to use console commands. Use the old move to player. Back to school. Lady Aetia says my voice is second only to hers, but she's selling me short. Don't think I've ever heard you sing. I make a point of resting my voice outside of class. A bard must take care of their instrument, after all. Perhaps someday I will sing for you, but not today. I found the Whispers song. You found them, that's great. I only have to find a nice tune to go with it now. Thank you, fellow bard. Pretty sure this is also part of Shadow Song. I may be a gentleman. It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. His late lordship was quite the admirer. Oh yeah, I talked to Ildi, by the way. You broke Ildi. Somebody needs to make amorous adventures for her. Good job. I can see you know what you're doing. Gee, thanks. I got your flute too. That's it. Wonderful. I knew I could count on you. I don't have any money to give you, but I can show you a few tricks I learned playing for the Winterhold Wizards. I'd be more than happy to give you a gift for your service. In private. You have but to ask. Uh, maybe. Anyway, sorry you're stuck with Erica. <sighs> yeah, I know. Well, he's okay. I'm sure he'll help a resourceful woman to advance her interests. And fork over some gold. Looks like Ildi already found somebody else to practice with. Let me know if you have anything you need from me. I got Rehorn's drum. Heard you were asking for it. At last! I have searched for this drum for 20 years. The college treasury is a bit thin right now. But I can show you some tricks I learned from my days with the army. Now that you have Olaf's verse, is the Poetic Edda complete? The Poetic Edda is never truly complete. As a living history of Skyrim, we bards continually add parts to it. In fact, if you collected parts of the Edda from any bard you encountered in your travels, I'd be willing to pay you for them. Just speak to various bards outside of the college, get their parts of the Poetic Edda, and return them here to me. Olvis and Valerian are part of Bard College expansion, but I want to go ahead and do a couple of things. Ah, the lute. A noble instrument. The drum. Some call it the heartbeat of music. You said something about the power of songs. Songs aren't just about the melody. The lyrics of a song could be just as, if not more, important than the music itself. Imagine your deeds immortalized in verse, sung by bards from solitude to Riften. Your actions build a reputation, but song can shape how others perceive such things. That is its power. Hmm. You know, I'm always on the lookout for new material to inspire me. And you seem like the type to have more than the odd adventure. I have an offer for you. Anytime you participate in a particularly grand undertaking, come tell me of your deeds. I will transcribe them to song and then teach these ballads to other bards. Far and wide, people will sing of your exploits. And you decide what exactly it is they sing. No more idle rumor or hearsay. Your actions can be portrayed as brave and honorable, smart and cunning, or perhaps even ruthless and underhanded. It's a chance to influence how history remembers you, to weave the threads of your story as you see fit. Personally, I love if this concept. you're interested, of course. Well, I've got a ballad topic then. Hmm, wonderful. What would the topic of this new song be? How I climbed to the rank of Thief Guildmaster. Shouldn't you keep that quiet? No? Well, all right. Tell me how it all happened. Just avoid anything too incriminating. Essentially the same concept as tending the flames. Hmm. That, that wasn't as bad as I expected. Well, in terms of narrative, already seeing a few avenues we could go down. There once was a rogue with a knack for the game A swindler true, but not one without shame A thief through and through, with a heart of gold And this tale's but one that hasn't been told See, they vexed an old burglar renowned of deed Who lived beneath rift and swilling in greed 
The rat ran a tight crew of misfits and crooks, all the while robbing them right off the books. Folk naturally hate thieves, but such tales can be given a positive spin. Speaking of thieves, what shall we say Mercer Frey thought of you? In his heyday, he was a renowned swordsman. Soon as he met me, he knew my natural talent outstripped his, as he'd already planned to fleece the guild. He stabbed me in the back. Then the new blood appeared, like a feather on the wind, and the jealous old thief, he would not be chagrined. The old coot made a plan that could use this great skill Then at the right time their wealth he would steal When chance came at last to remove this loose thread He stabbed in the back and then left them for dead No honor amongst that particular thief, hmm? You obviously survived the betrayal, but how should we paint such a picture? Understandably, I was pissed they crawled through the snow, denying their fate. In their hearts were an oath of revengeful hate. And so they returned to old Riften below, where they told of the treacherous thief and his woes. Now, after all that, how do we end this story? Cunning and Guile saw me through. But the bastard took flight with their treasures in tow, so they hunted him down by the tracks in the snow. Then they cut down the greedy old thief as he strode, and stole off his corpse all the gold they were owed. On him they found Nocturne's treasures, they say, but that's a tale for another day. Because it doesn't fit with the Thieves' Gold Quest line. So let it be known to all who deceive that honor still lives among those called thieves. Hmm. Despite the subject matter, that turned out to be quite the adventure. I'll write down these verses and start passing them along to other bards I know. It may require some coaxing, but I know at least a handful who'll be interested to sing this ballad. Thanks, Elvis. All right, then. Hey, Liz, let's talk. Not here. Come with Welcome. me. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Ordinator's nice little randomly placed things are pretty fun. You know, I had to retire and leave you to run the schemer, son. There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in troubled times. I wrote a song for you. A song? For me? I gave my love a cherry that had no stone. I gave my love a chicken that had no bones. I gave my love a story that had no end. Mercy! No more! Words can hurt, you know. You came to sing! This is a horror show! Look, I kill dragons for a living, all right? I did save you from Erica. Pantea's gonna take one for the team. It was her idea, after all. Really? You convinced that Thane to stop chasing me? Thank you. I have a good thing going here at the Winking Skeever. I'm sure he'll behave himself now. And Ildi, I'm not sure why you were mad about it. I was teaching her. I admit, it was fun for me, too. This is a weird choice having her get jealous when I'm meant to have sex with everybody on this mod. You could have just said no. It hurt because I wanted you in my life. Huh. You think you alone would be enough for me? I've got quite the body count. A non-husband and a baby here in Skyrim. There's enough of me to go around. Jealousy doesn't suit you, Liz. But enough wallowing. Some of the younger bards need to learn to serve the patron. I have come to accept that. I spoke to Pantia Atia about retaining the services of a bard. We've come to an agreement. Oh, ha! Huh. You're a crafty one. So I'm gonna be your bard, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. My lute playing is way better than my singing. All you need is a bit of spirit, and any song can be made into a classic. All right, let's try something a bit more... fun. You'll improve with practice. Liz, you and I make beautiful music together, both metaphorically and actually. You know, you sing, I play. Life without music is hardly worth living, is it? 
Come by the Winking Skeever any time you want to hear a tune. Got a contribution for the Poetic Edda? I do. I've been working on mine for a while now. A coin or two? Finn was the bard who invented the eight-course lute that is commonplace today. Until he found a way to string the extra courses, bards only had six-course lutes. Interesting. Also, I found the lute. Here. What? You did? Oh, sweet divines, you did! There is no way I can pay you what this loot is worth. But I can teach you a few tricks I've learned over the years. Got a contribution for the Poetic Edda? I've got it right here. Just don't read it. It's not very good. How about you, Ildi? This is part of me. Guard it with your life. I cannot best you! What is this, one of the old Imperial Guards who decided to throw on his old armor and just camp in a tower and start shooting people? Mad because he lost his job? You know, the day is young. Might as well check out this Pelagius wing. Who knows what I'll find? Wow, this place is a wreck. What's happening? Pally, my dear. Why am I naked? Wait a minute, I know that voice. Obviously, that's it for today. Next time, Pelagius Wing, and then Saints and Seducers, and then one more, and then the time skip. I mostly left off of Bard College Expansion, and I'm going to do that in my little 204 time frame. At least that's the plan at the moment. With some flashbacks to stuff like this that's being shown right now. But I kind of wanted to get the Thief song out there right now. Anyway, let me know if there's stuff you want to see. I have a pretty concrete plan, written in mud. But more and more mods just keep coming out I have to play, like right now. Like the new Val expansion, or Bard College expansion. Oh yeah, and all of Destana's singing parts were performed by me, using a voice changer. But I intentionally sung badly. That's the joke. Anyway, thanks for watching, and happy modding.